Hi everyone, welcome to the Droid G channel. In addition to broken screen issues and software anomalies, you may also encounter some fatal problems when using your Android smartphone. For example Android phone keeps turning on and off. Whether it's a low battery, an easy to fix bug, or something more serious, here are some tips on how to stop your phone from shutting down when you don't want it to. It's really confusing when you pick up your phone only to find it's turned off for no reason. While you may be confused why the problem persists and not sure what to do, the good news is that you can fix it yourself. Today's video will tell you why is my Android turning on and off repeatedly and how to fix Android phone turns on and off. In a later video, I will show you the easy way to fix phone keeps randomly shutting off. First, if your Android phone keeps turning on and off. Your Android phone every 20 seconds turn the screen on and off. The Android starts to turn on and off repeatedly after being flooded. Phone is turning off by itself after several seconds. Android phone randomly turning off. Screen turning on randomly. Follow me first to see what might be causing the problem. Second, why does my phone turn on and then turn off by itself? There is a bug in the app you installed. An old device battery is installed. Interrupt downloaded applications or Android OS updates. The background CPU usage of the mobile phone is high. The battery temperature is too high. Some hardware has been damaged due to water ingress. Insufficient storage memory. Reasons such as the scheduled power on and power off settings on the device may cause Android phone turns on and off repeatedly. Third, how to fix Android keeps turning on and off. Once you know the reason, you can follow the tips below to solve the Android keeps shutting down problem step by step. Method 1 is to try to force restart your phone. If your phone keeps turning itself on and off, one effective fix you should try first is to restart it. Force restart works in most cases. Please determine the forced restart combination key of the device according to the difference of the device. On the Samsung mobile phone in my hand, the volume down button and the power button, press and hold the combination key for 10 to 15 seconds until the brand icon appears on the Android phone, then you can let go. Wait patiently for the phone to restart to see if the problem is resolved. Method 2 is to charge the phone. If your phone keeps shutting down or refuses to turn on, it could just be a sign of a low battery. Your phone needs a lot of battery power to work. Otherwise, it won't work at all, or it will keep turning off when you keep turning it on. Please find your charger and plug in your phone. Let the phone charge for at least an hour. Turn the phone on after charging to see if it still turns off when it starts up. Method 3 is to check the storage space and clean up the space. Low storage space, high CPU usage and too many background processes can make your phone restart indefinitely. We recommend that you free up memory and storage on your phone. Follow the steps below to check your phone's storage space. Open the phone settings, find the general management option on the phone settings interface and click it. Enter the general management interface, find and click storage. On the storage page you can see the usage and remaining storage space of your device. When the remaining space is less than 10%, your phone may start to switch on and off. At this point, please follow the prompts to clean up your storage space. Method 4 is to disable slash adjust scheduled power on slash off. Besides a dead or faulty battery, a specific setting or software issue could be causing your phone to keep turning itself on and off. One of the settings is automatic power on and off. Auto power off settings can also keep your Android phone powered off. You need to disable the auto switch function. I have a Samsung phone in my hand. You need to determine the different steps according to the different equipment. Open the settings on the Android phone. Enter the setting interface. Find and click the general management to enter the general management interface. Find and click the reset option on the general management interface. Select the automatic power on slash off option in the reset interface. After entering this interface, turn off the auto power on slash off button of your Android phone. After turning it off, check whether the phone returns to normal. Method 5 is to update the Android version. When the Android operating system is not updated for a long time, there may be some problems with your device, including the Android phone keeps turning on and off repeatedly. So check to see if a new update is available on your device. Please open the phone settings, find the software update, enter the software update interface, check whether there is an Android version that needs to be updated. If so, please charge the phone while updating the Android version, so as to ensure that there is enough power to update the Android version. If not, then it proves that the problem is not caused by the Android version. Method 6 is to run the phone in safe mode. There may be apps you have installed that are triggering your phone to keep turning itself off and on. In this case, you need to identify the app and remove it from your device. The easiest way to check whether an app is causing the problem is to run the phone in safe mode. Safe mode allows you to use your phone with its original interface without third-party apps. This means any apps or downloads that might be affecting your phone can be isolated and prevented from happening, making troubleshooting easier for you. Press and hold the power key until the shutdown screen appears. On the shutdown screen, tap and hold the shutdown icon until the screen displays the safe mode option. After safe mode appears, please tap safe mode. After you tap, your phone will restart to return to the main screen in safe mode. In safe mode, 
Generally use the phone for a few minutes to see if it automatically turns off and on. If not, an application is causing the problem. Please remove applications that may be causing problems. Method 7 is to restore factory settings. You can also factory reset your Android device to fix system glitches. However, the reset process will erase all settings and content on your phone. Therefore, if you need the data in your phone, please back up the data first. Please connect your phone to your computer. Then, make sure your phone is turned off and wait at least 30 seconds. Next, press the volume up button and the power button at the same time until you see the recovery mode screen. You can let go while seeing the recovery mode screen. From the Android recovery screen, select wipe data slash factory reset using the volume buttons, and press the power button to confirm. Then, use the volume buttons to select factory reset and use the volume buttons to select the yes option to confirm. This will trigger the reset process, which should only take 2 to 3 seconds to complete. Once done, it will take you back to the recovery mode interface. Use the power button to select the reboot system now option. Finally, your phone will turn on and reboot to the home screen. Some Android phones that have been factory reset require the Android phone to be reactivated. Please follow the prompts to reactivate. Method 8 is to contact the manufacturer. If all the fixes above don't stop your phone from turning itself on and off, then it may be that some hardware parts of the mobile phone are damaged, which will conflict with the system, causing the mobile phone to turn on and off automatically. This is something you cannot solve on your own. It is recommended that you go to your brand's official repair center for professional help. That's all for today's video. If you think this video is helpful to you and think we did a good job, please like, share and tell us which method helped you solve the problem in the comment area. At the same time, if you think there is room for improvement, you can also express your views and suggestions in the message area. Thanks. Good luck.